hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on some of the features in the brush and I, I would like to start with the brush here so I press B on the keyboard and then you get a brush and you got something here and uh, the way I've uh, picked this one is like I need to explore the brush palette here and uh, we have a brush tip shape so which I'm going to discuss in this video so in this brush tip shape you have uh, different types of brush tips okay so uh, starting with a soft circular brush so i'm going to increase the brush size so that you could clearly see it it's way too much i'm going to put somewhere 96 and you should see a soft brush then we have a slightly hard brush okay then you got uh, a leaf a grass blade okay these are all tips okay and these tips can be uh, created by you you can uh, use any of your custom image and then make that as a tip of the brush okay so this tip of the brush can be uh, you know it can give you this kind of result so just click and drag and you get this okay now uh, whatever the tip you have picked here okay this one is a tip and you get this stroke so you can choose any of these tips what you're getting here like that now once you have picked the tip every tip will have a different set of options below so you got uh, a normal brushes which are I can say traditional or classic brushes uh, which are basically a simple alpha maps which uh, any black and white image can become a map I can show you that so I'll take a new document with a size of 500 by 500 okay and then take a normal brush and then take a black color okay so I can just uh, draw this and then I can go to edit define brush preset and then your tip is different now okay so you can choose your custom brush tip okay so that's uh, how these tips are there and this is a traditional way of you know I mean Photoshop brushes now you have some brushes which have a unique interface there so you should able to see right now I've selected a round point brush and the type of brushes can be seen here a round blunt brush you got a round curve brush so you got all that so you can select a, a different brush here and then you could see the options getting changed there gradually then you have uh, a next set of brush which is like a pencil erodible square and you have options for it okay then you got air brushes so it generally sprays color so you can try hardness distortion granule granularity you got splatter size and splatter amount so you can use that and then so all this uh, types of brushes you got different uh, interfaces okay so explore that and uh, you can just read the name its number of bristles you can increase that less bristles can generally give less denser high you got high so you can control the thickness of the bristles it's like a, a, a special software interface which was not there in older versions of photoshop okay so these brushes what i'm talking here so normal images which are as i told you i can pick any image and then make it as a brush and then that becomes a brush there okay and then you have uh, for this uh, size option which is basically the size of the brush 
and you got flip uh, which can flip the image uh, flip in X and flip in Y you got angle which can reduce the brush uh, I would like to take a hard brush okay and then I uh, select this pointer here and then drag it like that so that is affecting the roundness so that gives this stroke so if I make it little bit more uh, less round and then drag it you should able to see you're getting that flat brush effect uh, suitable for calligraphy and all that stuff so you can use that thing and then you got uh, roundness I'm putting back to 100 then you have got angle let's say if I am putting the roundness to 10 so the f the brush is pretty flat so I can choose angle of 45 degrees and then the stroke is 45 degrees at angle uh, then you got uh, hardness which is basically making the brush soft or hard okay then you got spacing so you want spacing so you can control the spacing here uh, if you don't do that you don't have control of over the spacing there so you should able to see when I'm uh, moving my mouse slowly you don't get that but when I do it fast the spacing is uh, based on the velocity I can say okay so when you take spacing in control and uh, you get the dots evenly spaced when the spacing at is at 161 percent if I reduce it the density is higher and much more higher so if you're getting that roundness increase the spacing and that should fix the problem okay so that is uh, how you can control the brush tip as I told you every brush is having a different uh, type of settings explore all that it is very simple uh, in itself